Are you looking for a quick and easy dish to whip up for dinner tonight? Healthy chef and partyologist Nancy Waldeck says noodles is the best way to go. Take a look at her delicious pasta recipes. Nancy, first of all, I'm so excited to see you. I love chatting with you because I always learn a lot and everything you make is delicious. So let's jump into it. We're doing noodles today. Uh, we're talking pasta. And I think when people think of pasta, they immediately think marinara sauce, but you have some yummy noodle dishes, great for summertime. So the first one is a curry pasta. Let's jump right in. What are the ingredients? Okay, so in my pan, Kara, I have a couple of things that I've already sauteed down. And I sauteed in coconut oil today because this is a coconut curry. I also have some carrots, some red pepper that I julienne, some cauliflower, you can use broccoli too, and some red onion. So I've already got those sauteed down. It took about five or six minutes in that coconut oil over medium high heat. Now I'm gonna put the rest of the ingredients in. That's how easy this is, Kara. And so you don't have to heat up your kitchen for very long. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put in my garam masala powder. Next up, I'm gonna put in a can of just regular old coconut milk. And I'm gonna stir that around. I've got some fresh ginger here, about an inch of ginger that I just grated, so I'm gonna put that in there. And now I'm just gonna let this burble away for a few moments while I use one of our favorite summer ingredients, which is peaches, because they're in season right now. So I've got two peaches that I just roughly chopped. And next up, I have some other ingredients. And Kara, this is so easy. All right, so now I have about a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Because I want it to have a little zing, I've got a chopped jalapeno, but I took out all the ribs and seeds, so it should not be too spicy. And um, then I have just about a teaspoon of very finely minced red onion. And that's gonna go in there. That's gonna add a little more zing. And then last but not least, I have a little uh, cilantro that I chopped. Now I like, um, I like long noodles for this. So you can either use zoodles like I have right here, zucchini noodles, squash noodles, sweet potato noodles, or I also like the whole wheat long pasta like that. So in order to serve it up, all I have to do is just put my sauce right on it that I just whipped together. And then last but not least, I am going to finish it off with some unsweetened coconut flakes, Kara. And look at this, a little bit more cilantro. All right, Nancy, let us know how many people that would serve. So depending on how much pasta you have, uh, make somewhere between two and four servings. Okay, it's so beautiful. Let's get into the pasta salad. I know you have one more to share with us. So I'm gonna use a short chickpea pasta with you, with this salad. So I, this is just uh, chickpea pasta. Secret to chickpea, red lentil, all those pastas is to cook them one minute less than it says on the box. Then you'll have some nice pasta just like this. Super easy ingredients right from the pantry or the fridge. Uh, you can use cannellini or chickpeas. I've got some sun-dried tomatoes, not in oil, okay? So just the dry sun-dried tomatoes some Kalmata olives, a little bit of grape tomatoes that I slivered up, and again, I'm using just a little red onion that's sliced. I'm going to stir this up, and then I'm going to make my dressing. Look at that. Isn't that color pretty? So pretty. And my dressing is a jar dressing, Kara. We love those. Just a quarter cup of olive oil some red wine vinegar, just a couple tablespoons. I've got some Dijon mustard to give it a little kick there. And some oregano or Italian seasoning, either one, about a teaspoon. And then finally, gotta have some ginger, I mean, have some garlic in there too. All right, so here we go. And Nancy, if you are having a summer soiree, how long could you keep that in your fridge beforehand? Is this something you can make a few days in advance, a day in advance? What would you recommend? If I was 
I, yes, this can be made four or five days in advance. And if I was serving the salad, you can make this part of the salad. So just put all the ingredients together. You can make it, oh gosh, two days ahead of time and just keep it in your fridge. Just, just don't dress your pasta salad until right before you serve it because it can, it can get a little soft and okay. I like that pasta to be firm. I'm gonna pour this into my pasta salad and then I'm gonna just stir it around a little bit. I love serving this on spinach, especially if you're doing this outside because this baby spinach or regular spinach even that you can just chop a little bit, it holds up, right? And you don't want a sad looking salad. So here we go, here is the pasta salad. And then of course, I love putting a little bit of feta cheese on top of it um, at the end. So here we go, there's a little bit of feta, or you can put it in the salad itself. Ooh, I'm getting Ooh, excited about the feta. And that is the summer pasta salad, Mediterranean inspired. Mm, I'm so hungry now, Nancy. That is one thing I've never seen you make is a sad salad, my friend. Our resident partyologist, we love having you here on the show. And you know what? My brother and his family are coming into town this weekend. I think I might prep that today. So thanks for sharing. It looks glorious, like everything that you do. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Nancy. All right, thanks for your time. Oh, I love that, Nancy. For more information about those recipes and so much more, visit Nancy online at tasteandsavor.com.